sound effect function, wow. in my eyes, is uh, some of the funkiest horn oriented groove music that you can dance to live, have fun, and just party with. It's not jazzy, although people interpret it as jazz because we have horns, but the overall picture of fat function, and if you if you look back at what fat actually means, ebonically, fat means cool, big, you know, down, it's all good kind of thing. Well, it's a horn section band. I think that aspires to be something like Tower of Power or Earth, Wind & Fire or James Brown. Uh, we're not quite as tight as that. Making sure the horns sound good, that's kind of, you know, my job, rhythm section, whenever we split the band up into the rhythm section and, and, and the horn section, and the horn section is basically my responsibility in terms of making sure everybody sounds tight and, and uh, everybody knows their parts. And I put it together, gosh, almost two years ago. But this carnation of the band, which is together now and it has been together, it's only been about a little over a year. You put this funk band together for you know, shits and giggles, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, you're starting to pack the angelic, and you got, you know, 500 screaming people jumping up and down, and you look, and original tunes, these people are starting to sing along. You know, like, how do you know these, no these the words for this? They've, you know, we our CD isn't out yet, it's like they don't have a chance to, you know, listen to the words at all. They must come to our shows that much that they've learned the words. sleep. Um, you know, I mean, there's been countless nights where we've all been up late, you know, I mean, you have to give up time for weekly rehearsals. You have to, um, we all had to give up a lot of sleep during the times that we were in the studio recording. Well, I'm staying in Madison. I'm done with school. I mean, um, I have a whole other side. I mean, I'm a jazz pianist that I was before I started this band. But before I was a jazz pianist, I, you know, have always liked rock music, whatever. So, but, um, I have a whole other part of me that I still want to go to graduate school and I still want to be a straight ahead acoustic jazz performer, you know. And I, I want to compose. And I Try to do film and all that other stuff, but well, uh, I had to give up my photo shoot with GQ, of course. No, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to kind of break into the uh, into the jazz scene. It's really hard. You have to be a really exciting player. You have to sound really great to be um, to be called. But maybe um, I might have try to pursue more opportunities to play other kinds of music or other gigs or something. Maybe with, well, with other groups too that kind of fell through because this was was so big. Right, Sacrifices for the band. Here. Well, see there was a small sheep. Yeah. We're gonna scrap that, right? about a sacrifice but it's all about gratification too and uh, you get that when you play when you when you play live and, and people respond to it that's that's the payback more than actually 
uh, get money in your pocket at this point. Oh, money. No, um, it's actually for the sex. But no, um, okay, you're right, it's for the money and the sex. It's actually for the sex that I get paid for mostly. That's why I do it. Just, I mean, it, when I'm up on stage and you stick the horn in your mouth and you start playing and, and actually are producing this un unique sound, um, unlike the, the grunge stuff that you hear on the radio and, and, and stuff like that, it's, it's just, you completely forget about, you know, the, the 42 people you saw killed on the news today and, and, and rising taxes and, you know, your, your, your dog died or, your, you know, whatever. Anything that, that has made you tense that day completely goes away. And it's just you, your horn, and the music. And that's all you know for that brief instance. You know, when, when, when I forget who I am when I'm playing, well, you know, then it starts to become fun. The feeling's best when you really catch on to something funky. It's like kind of this little elation you get inside. Have you ever seen a lion like tearing into a bunny rabbit after a fresh kill? It's nothing like that. It's, it's kind of like a peppermint patty. It's a cool, refreshing feeling on stage, being in front of people, the exhilaration having them move their booty to music and know that, yeah, I'm kind of part of what this booty shaking's all about. It That's what it's like on stage. The music, the music should speak. Don't you buy or CD? <laughs> Available at exclusive company B side. Buy the CD. Buy. Buy the CD, okay? I had to buy a guitar. Buy the CD. Kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> hey, buy the CD. <laughs> I think it would be in your best interest. <laughs> so can't rob us. Is important. Lovey, do buy the CD. Buy the, buy the CD. Don't you? Bye. Bye the CD. Bye.